starting here to start the first talk. It is a different time, different, well, same day, different time. But thanks for coming. Jeff and I are here. The other guys will come if they remember. And yeah, so how's it going, Jeff? Wet. What? It's wet. wet. We have, we had a 10% chance of rain and we have thunderstorms. That's nuts. It's wet here too, but it's because I'm at the beach. Yeah. Here, I'll turn it around and show. Can you see? It's not the beach. It's not. So right the beach. You what? It's not a beach. That's not a beach. What do you call that? That's a beach. I don't know. It looks like a back dirt. <laughs> okay. like grass and weeds. <laughs> Those are the dunes. That's where the rattlesnakes live. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's how I like my beaches with rattlesnakes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Got to have rattlesnakes at the beach. <laughs> You don't have rattlesnakes at your beaches? No, we have sharks. We have a real beach. We have sharks, too. We have everything. We have rattlesnakes, sharks. We have the whole shebang. <laughs> I don't go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so how have things been? Things been going smoothly. The typical late summer, old drums. And, yeah, um, yeah. Listing here and there and shipping and creating shirts. Yeah, I agree. My I, my sales have been well. They really slowed down, like after the mm, after July, right? Father's Day. Yeah. Father's Day after Father's Day, and things have kind of slowly picked up here and there. So I have some bursts of good days. I have actually typically been between three and five a day. I'm only yeah. at one so far a day. Me too. I'm only at one today too so far. So, yeah. I didn't want to turn on my cha chinger so I won't get to the cha chings if I get one. I'm trying to see if y'all can see into my windows, into the windows, into the house. Because I don't know if people are walk how they're walking around in there, you know. <laughs> I saw someone. You saw someone? Yeah. Dun -dun 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 -dun. What was that? I turned my cha chinger on the morning. But is that for eBay or is that for? No, that's, that's the merch chain. Oh, okay. Was that your one sale or is that a, another sale? Yeah. Another no, that was a one sale. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, let me say hey in the chat because we're just kind of like, hey, shooting the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like waiting for the other guys to come in. Oh, maybe they'll come. Maybe they won't. Maybe they forgot. They're hey, losers. turn. Do what? They're losers. They're slackers. What? <laughs> they just they need to get up and get to work. When you change the, when I change the time, it's probably just threw everybody for a loop, right? Hey, Turtle Trader, and Henry's in the chat, too. Hi, Armando. Hi, hello, hello. Let's see who else we got. Carl is there. Nikki, that's the popular picker. And there's Tracy, HP Picker. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I'm sure I'm missing some. Oh, Sheena and Shannon's there. And Young, hey, good morning, Young. And Marvin the Magi is there. And Clarence Ninja and Wisconsin Reseller. And what am I doing? Hello, hello. Um, yeah, I hope the connection, I did a test this morning for the connection, so hopefully it, it does okay. So, um, this past week or so, a lot of people got teared up. Did you get teared up? Nope. I don't expect to tear up until I get to 400 t-shirts. I'm at 300. No, I didn't do the last ones last night. I'm just below 300. Yeah. I figure, I mean, if I, if I light a fire on my butt, I can be at 400 in 10 days. Well, 11 days now. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm not going to be that ambitious. I've been trying to because you think it's you have to be at 80% of capacity? That's what the rumor is. That's the rumor. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I, I've been trying to get there because I, I think I'm about 40 away from that point. Sorry, I'm sitting in, in this chair. I want to answer a question in the chat. Yes, Galveston Beach. That's where we are. We're at what? We're at Jamaica Beach? Sea Isle. Sea Isle. So we're further down, yeah. So, yeah, on Galveston Island, though, for sure. <laughs> uh, I'm at 295. So I tried to do a take yesterday. I did, uh, I think I did four or five unique, no, I did five unique shirts. And I was going to, before bed, do uh, duplicates of them on different color sh shirts. But I got too tired and just kind of forgot. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. Just similar, like taking one idea and maybe changing up the words, changing up the, just to kind of get get them up there. And then the, I've been looking too at what's pending removal. Like I have 
person that were like pending and get on top down and then put them now. That way I don't have to deal with you know the ones that I I was gonna re upload later. That way I've already got all the stuff there. So we did that for every shirt. I have a list of everything. That's a good idea, but I I don't know. Sheena says she stayed up till four a.m. doing shirts going blind. Yeah, yeah, I was. I saw a bunch of. I found a bunch of designs for a dollar that were pretty good, so I bought them and did them. And I was gonna, like I said, do them in ten different colors. But the TV called me, and then the bed called me. So I'll get. I'll get ten today. I think. I probably won't. I put some, I put some in into um, draft mode, hoping that I would be able to flesh them out while I was here. But I don't know. But what we did though for the kids, we put like butcher paper on the table in there with crayons. So I told them, you know, if you draw a shirt, like if you draw designs that you want on a shirt, we can use like Adobe Capture or something, take pictures of it, and not a, we, the only thing with Adobe Capture is it turns it black and white. So I figure if I take a picture of it, even then I can like knock out the background and do something with it, you know. So, just yeah. take a regular picture and bring it into Photoshop and knock out the background, then bring it into Illustrator. And I don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, well, Randy, Randy really wants to teach me how to do that. So, hey, can you do me a favor, Randy? Sorry, I'm interrupting. Can you this bedroom door in here? Can you open it all the way so that, that if somebody walks by, they can't see? In case somebody's like in their swimsuits. Oh, Randy. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, Randy's got a cute shirt on. There you go. It's not one of ours. It's one we we bought at Walmart. Can I show them your shirt? The one you're wearing on your body. <laughs> Here's here's the shirt Randy's got on. Check oh, it out. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. So okay, Diana says, "Hi, I'll binge watching merch talk. Just got accepted after 14 months of waiting. There's hope, Randy. Randy's been waiting since October. Yeah, but I've seen a lot of people getting um getting in lately, so that's really good. I didn't check this morning. Did I check this morning? No, I didn't. No, I didn't either. But I'm trying. I think I have to be at 1,600 shirts live, if if the rumor is true. Yeah, I don't I don't expect it until I get to 400. Yeah, so we'll see. And I wasn't at that when that when all the last like tearing went 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 on, so I wasn't there yet. So hopefully, test tease. I I know Tur Turtle Trader. That's probably why he hasn't been in yet. Test tease. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, but he's reapplied and changed the name, so hopefully that will, yeah. Patricia says she's at the 10 tier and has sold four shirts, all of them the same shirt, so I guess people like it. That's good. It's, it's yeah, it's slow to start. When things start rolling, it'll pick up, yeah. Yeah. So, Jeff, do you have any tips for people that are new getting in? Um, just be patient. Yeah. Patient. You see Spider Man? Have I? No, I didn't see Spider Man. Uh, there's a, oh, so it'd be a spoiler, but the, the very, very end credit is about being patient. <laughs> I'll have to watch it. Then. It would make sense. <laughs> just be patient. There's is a million. The, things. What? Oh, no, it, the new one that just came out. Is that the one you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we went and saw it last week. And the last end credit is pretty funny. Do you think it was appropriate for, for kids? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It, well, maybe it, I'll take the guys. It was really good. It didn't really, it was a new take on Spider Man. Um, I was going to say, um, in the, and now I can't remember, there was some pod news. Um, Teespring is now merging with Amazon and eBay, but of course they have caveats that you have to have at least one sale on the shirt. And they're only taking the best sellers at first, so maybe a while before I get anything. That's a demanding cat. Yes. <laughs> so let me. I'm trying to understand. So Teespring is merging with Amazon and eBay. Yeah. Where integrate. they're gonna in integrating. They're gonna start. Integrate. They're gonna start selling again on Amazon and eBay under the Teespring umbrella. Weren't they doing that on Amazon already? Then they start that. They are, but they stopped for a while because they were having issues, um, oh. you know, with copycats and stuff like that. Um, yeah. 
I got to try it again, but they're rolling out real slowly. And if your shirt has a it has to have at least one sale that you may consider to do it. Okay. And then, um, blah, 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 blah. But they're only taking the best shirts right now to kind of get it going. So, yeah. which kind of sucks. And they did send out a notice this week about pillows. They were really pushing pillows. And anybody that wanted their pillow featured, you just put a hashtag in the description of your pillow. And huh. I couldn't do anything because I'm maxed out, and they don't let you delete shirts to uh, add shirts. Yeah. You know, once you're 100, you're, you're there. Dang. And there was something else on another pod. I can't remember now. Well, I have a question about that one. I think okay. I asked this before. So what if... Because I, I have a few shirts on Teespring, but they're ones that are duplicates on Amazon. So would, yeah. the, would Amazon view that as a copycat now if they put them up on? I don't think so because they're using different uh, shirts. If you just load Teespring defaults, it's a Hanes shirt. Mm. Or with uh, Amazon, it's Bella now. Bella or uh, mm -hmm. Anvil, yeah. Yeah. It's animal, so yeah, it's a different shirt, so I don't think that the uh, I'm not positive. Yeah, yeah. Expert. And I told everybody about the tier on one on Teespring now has a tier of 100. You have to sell 10 shirts to go above that. Um, I got worried. I called uh, Redbubble, and their tier is 3,000. Oh my gosh! With 30,000 images, because you know you can do. I don't know different things, different images. You know, you can you can have one design under, and you know how they can do T-shirts, mugs. Yep, yeah. Different. You can load a different version of that image for the mug. So now you have a white T or a white graphic for a T-shirt, black T-shirt, and you want to do a white mug, so you can load up the black graphic. So you can have two graphics for one design. One does campaign. it count as one, or does it count as two? It counts as one campaign. But it counts as two graphics, so you can have, uh, you know, a bazillion graphics. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it was three thousand shirts, or three thousand campaigns, and thirty thousand graphics. It was have an you, ungodly number. So, has, have your have your sales been doing okay on those pods no. though? No, I they trickle one or two a month. I just started. I spent a day. Mango, no. I spent a day this week just uploading the red pot uh, red bubble. <laughs> oh wow! So yeah, I just well, I just went and checked because I never even go look. But yeah, I haven't had any sales. I, I, that's, I just quit. So I just quit uploading. So I'm like, wow, well, I don't want to waste my time doing that. Well, it was like yesterday. I didn't feel like creating a new shirt, so I or that day, and so I just went ahead and spent an hour and uploaded shirts that I already had to Redbubble. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. So, I mean, it's not like I sit there. My, my concentration, my time's on merch. If I have 10 designs, I go on a merch, and then if I have time later, I'll load them up to the others. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where the where the uh, audience is. Chris, 10K on the Bay wants, on the wants to know who's Mango. This Hang on, let me, let me share you. Mango is very demanding. And he hears people talking on YouTube. He has to get up there and. <laughs> he wants his cameo. <laughs> okay, so Clearance Ninja had a, a question. He says, "Do either of you find yourselves moving away from other any selling platforms, or do you still firing on all cylinders?" Um, I'm. I won't say I'm firing on all cylinders. Um, I was loading up to Inktail and Store. Is a store envy. I've stopped uploading there for now, but I, I do plan to load there again. But it's like you said, it's the time and effort. You know, I'm concentrating places where I have made sales. You know, I've placed yeah. 10 to 20 t shirts in almost every pod. Yeah. And if it's made a sale, I'll, I'll start uploading more. So, and Redbubble's, like I said, starting to make a couple sales a month. So I'm just loading it up and see what happens when I have time. 
You're still selling on eBay and stuff too, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't put any new ones on eBay. But eBay is just as slow as the other pods. It doesn't get the traffic for T-shirts. You know, you have to drive. For Amazon, well, not, not a lot of organic shirts, traffic. But other stuff. What was that? For reselling. You're still reselling on eBay. Oh, yeah, I still resell on eBay. Yeah, it was a good reseller weekend. Was it for you? Good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had two two hundred dollar plus days. Oh, that's good. Decals. Usually, it's at this time of year, it's all decals. But uh, no, I sold a couple of uh, good items. I need to go look at your decals because mine on my the back of my van are starting to peel and look yucky. <laughs> so I need to get some new ones on there. Yeah. I even had some sales on Truegether yesterday, or the yesterday and Saturday. Cool. So. All my all my platforms were firing this weekend. It it has picked up a bit. I mean, today was slow. Let me look at my numbers real quick. Uh, so yeah, like I two days ago, for, I guess it was Friday. I had this old thirteen shirts. Yesterday, five. I'm coming to say hey, hey. There's my sister. Hey, <laughs> show him your shirt. I love your shirt. Wait, can you see it? Yes. Oh, hang on, let me present her. Hang on. Let me get my, run my mouth though. It says, "My friends call me Whiskers because I'm <laughs> curious like, like a cat." <laughs> Did I you buy it. that one? Make that one or? Oh, I bought it. Yeah, I bought it for her. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, it's from uh, Saturday Night Live. That one with Will Ferrell and uh, Jeff Goldblum, where they're uh -huh. doing Harry Carey, and yeah, it's pretty yeah. funny. All right, I'm dressed. Okay. Okay. See ya. Bye. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, so in the chat, I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, my numbers, yeah. So yeah, only one so far today. Yesterday, only five. But eh, so it's been kind of like a roller coaster. It's all over the place. Yeah, I'll check my... I, yesterday, I mean, I got three right before bed. So I'm at 84 for the month. and I, So I, I, I can still reach 100. It's what, the 24th? We got seven days? Is there 31 days in July? Yeah, 31. So we still have... Days. So if I get two a day, I can still break 100. Yeah, yeah. I am at, I mean, it's going to be way lower than last month for sure. I'm at 176. Yeah, way lower. It is. Last month I, I had over 300 sales, and this one is about half that almost, you know. So, eh, oh well. Start doing shirts like you. Do what? I'm going to have to do, start doing shirts like you. What do you mean? On Pick Monkey? Pick Monkey or just different versions of one and different colors. Yeah, I mean, and then it's that way, I don't always do like 10 different versions, but that way people can choose what they like. And then the ones that end up pulling for the 90 days get pulled and the winners will, have, will get to stay. Yeah. I mean, once you get to a higher tier and you can upload 40 a day, it's, you know, I think an okay strategy to have. I think, yeah, that'd be great. I mean, even at 10 for me, it'd probably work because, like, I only do uh, three or actually only two to four unique designs a day. And then if I feel like it, I'll make it. Um, if it lends to it, I'll make a white version and a black version. Yeah. And then on the white, I figure I can load up 10 colors so I can do it twice, make it two shirts. So, yeah. but some, can I go back and see those type of shirts that I've sold that I can probably make under different colors and see how they'll do? I just did that with a, cause I have, I won't say what it is exactly, but it's, there's 50 of them cause it's for the 50 states, right? Mm -hmm. Cause each state has one. Um, I what it is. You know what it is. Well, I, I had a, a light on a light version to go on the dark, and I was like, you know what? I can go make a dark to go on light, and I was like, oh, that's going to be such a pain, but I found a website that I can do invert colors, and it like does it like that and downloads as a PNG, so I've been doing that, getting the, the darks to go up on the light shirts, and they were starting to sell. Like I couldn't get them posted quickly enough. Um, yeah, so that was good. Maybe I'll share that site. How can I make a variation of that shirt? Mm. Of my shirt? Yeah. Oh. You can make it distressed. Mine's not distressed. 
Uh, that's probably too too similar though. I don't want to do that. Too what? That's too similar. Oh, okay. Well, then yeah. I'll make it distressed. <laughs> <laughs> I got to find a, a filter where I can distress it. That's not on Illustrator because I don't know how to use Illustrator. Well, you send them to me. I'll distress them and then we'll split it. <laughs> oh, she froze. Okay. Am I frozen? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, there's let me see in the chat. Yeah, is it easy on Illustrator to, to do a distressed filter on them? It is well for me, I have a I have a pack of different distressed images or whatever. Distress and so I just bring it over, lay it on top, and press the button that removes the top layer from the bottom layer. It's done. I don't know how to do that. That sounds hard. I can, <laughs> I can do a video for you. Okay. It's okay. super easy. <laughs> okay, um, in the chat, let's see. Oh, there was, there was a couple. Okay, John Singleton was asking, um, are you finding any problems with people filing false infringement complaints? Nope. I haven't. I actually filed two copycat complaints, and I got messages back from Merch saying there's not enough information or proof or something like that. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's exactly the same, right? So I don't know if I need to call or do it again or just don't even bother with it. I've only had one, possibly, I haven't reported yet, where they kind of switched the elements on my shirt. Yeah. But the thing is, they're still using my brand. And oh, yeah. Or I think I might report it because if they go to my brand, they can compare the two shirts and they may decide to go with the other guys. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah. And your brand is not like, because it's your brand. It's not like you right. put it under beach Everything. 95% of my shirts are all under my brand. Yeah. I've done some experimentation with individual brands, and they haven't sold, so. No. You guys are all <laughs> I'm thinking about, on my, on my web page, I'm thinking about having a, doing like a, a, a section where I post some of my shirts, because I do have people say, where can I see your shirts? I can't do all of them, but I can put. I thought about this over the weekend. Um, another advantage of doing your own brand is when you get to 500 shirts, 1,000 shirts, how are you going to advertise? If you want to do paid advertisement on Facebook or Instagram, you can only do one shirt. Right. The small niche shirts. So it's hard for, for, for me. I can. I can create a quick graphic of a bunch of shirts and saying shop at my store and have it linked to my brand and they see all my shirts. Hmm. So I can advertise all my shirts at once without worrying. I mean, this copycat fear, they're going to find it no matter what. Yeah, if it's a good shirt, they're going to copycat it. Yeah, so I just don't care. There's more advantages for me to have in one brand than fear yeah. over copyrights. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, I didn't do not not my own brand because of the copycat thing. I didn't do it because I wanted a more searchability. And I thought about that too because I've done some search, and my shirts pop up in that search, and sometimes they're up there in the top. And so I don't know how much juice the brand's going to give you. You know, it only gives you one or two words. Yeah. Those words are already in the title and description. It's already so I don't I don't buy it anymore. Tin yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, but, okay. <laughs> um let's hang on one second. I just, uh, my chat jumped. She was saying she tried the pick monkey for a free trial and it runs so slow. Did I have that problem? I don't have that problem. It runs really quickly for me. So I don't know what, what was going on. Hey, Mitch. Mitch on merch says, hey, y'all. Spider-Man and Beach Girl. Yep. Nikki says she was just accepted to merch like a week ago. Better come up with something before they take it away. Yep. Well, you have 60 days. Yeah, yeah. I wish. Don't rush it. Yeah, Patricia says, I wish they had not changed their tier from 25 to 10 because it's hard to get your shirt seen when there's so many shirts on there. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta push it more. Do so, social media. Yeah. If you want to do paid campaign, I did a, a paid campaign this weekend 
I think it was for my website, a t-shirt on my website. And <coughs> I didn't get any sales off it, but I sure got a lot of likes on Facebook and Instagram, which I guess is a, you know, interaction. Yeah, and that's like, so my sister, we went to a bee festival this weekend, right? And... and oh, you're in a... Pause up. Am I here? Can you see me? There you I'm, go. I'm here. Wax here off. Now. Wax off. Yeah, so we went to this bee festival, and there were a lot of different organizations there that don't have a ton of members. So buying, you know, going to a, a print place to get your shirt done for such a small group can be pretty costly. So I told her, you know, like, you need to go hit these groups up and say, look, send me your design. I can put it on Amazon. And then the people can order the shirt. They can get the size they want. You can get one for the kids, whatever, you know, put the price on it. And that way she could, you know, so I mean, I think if you're on the 10 tier, she's on the 25 tier, but that's a good way to go about it. If you're, you know, involved in any groups, you know. Mm -hmm. so. um, and if a lot of your 10 shirts are of a similar niche, create a Facebook page for that niche and start getting followers and post your shirts on there. And I'm sure you'll start selling. Mango's really taking care of business back there. Sorry, it's a bit distracting. Oh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> He's like, fine, you want to pay attention to me? I'll get attention another way. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Ron says, what website do you use to find keywords to add to your listing? They just make them up. Make them up? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I... I do am I like I use Amazon basically. Like I'll do um I'll search for what my shirt is and I'll see kind of what other people have put. Yeah. And then I'll look at a thesaurus and try to get just a thesaurus app. Yeah, I'll look at I'll do I'll use uh Unicorn Smasher to find the top ranked two or three shirts, see what their bullet points are, and I won't copy it, but I'll yeah. use your keywords, make it similar. And basically describe I just who, what, and where. You know, describe who's gonna wear it, what's gonna wear the well, I forget what, where they're gonna wear it. And uh, that's basically all you do and use your keywords in there describing the shirt. Um, and yeah. Like I just had a hunter shirt go up. I used hunter, hunting, hunt, huntsman, huntswoman. I used put deer in there, antlers, you know. But it all Ten made point. it okay. Cool. Yeah, make it in a sentence. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I just copied and pasted it into the description as well. If I can't yeah. think of anything more to say, I'll copy and paste the bullets into the description. And I did a I did a specific video on how I how I create keywords. But another thing that I found was was is good is like, so I made a shirt that had to do with I just it's a dentist shirt, right? It's a dental shirt, right? So, but in the in the keywords. I put something like, just imagine your whole office staff sporting these blah, 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 whatever the shirt was, you know. And mm -hmm. sure enough, I sold like 10 of them. Like somebody bought 10 in one go, right? So I do that with some of my outdoorsy shirts. Like I've got some about hiking or whatever. You know, make sure, you know, dress your family in style. Know what your kids are wearing when they're, you know what I mean? So like have matching shirts. So something about like getting the whole family a, a set of shirts so when you go out everybody's you know if they get lost in the woods you can tell the forest ranger he's wearing an orange shirt with this design on it you know anyway but you can't put anyway whatever you go about it that way that's how i do it um, um let's see i was asking about buying your own shirts out of 10 tier i would say and i said this last week i think Instead of buying your own shirts that you'll probably never wear, uh, run an Amazon giveaway. So you're paying for the shirt, but you're getting publicity on that yeah. shirt and maybe other shirts of yours. So make yeah. the money work for you rather than just buying a shirt you're only going to wear to bed. Yeah. And, and I didn't, I mean, we did this later, but like my guys, we have shirts that, that they designed or that they wanted. So it was like, okay, I'll make a shirt. You know, like my, I always use Mikey's. I love pickle shirts. So he wanted the shirt that said, I love pickles. So great, we made it. 
we bought one for him, but then it started selling, so yeah. I mean, same thing with some of, there was another one that they made, it was like a cat, and it said, I love litter boxes, or litter boxes rule, or something like that, that they wanted for themselves, like, okay, but it's, and then it started selling, like, okay, yeah, cats. Uh, Nikki says, she's not very artistic, but she thought she'd try it. I'm not either. You can do it. Yes. I have asked the complaints or you can lose your account. Yikes. I haven't, I haven't had any. What was that? Luckily. False complaints. Oh, all right. Oh, dear. I am, I'm really far behind in the chat. Sorry, guys. Let me try to catch up. Yeah, Nikki, my kids love it. And, and Michael, my seven-year-old, has sold three shirts this month. So my 10-year-old or 9-year-old is really bummed because when they sell a shirt, they get I put $5 into their savings account. So Mikey's already gotten 15 bucks in his account this month. So he's, he's happy with it. Yeah. Um, I am looking back. Ron says, is Adobe Illustrator CC the same as regular AI, or is there limitations? Do you know? It's, it's the same. It's the upgraded, it's upgraded version. And it's always updated when is you're CC on subscription. It automatically updates. Is CC Cloud. stand for Creative Commons? Yeah, Creative Cloud. Okay. Creative Cloud. Yeah, it's okay. their Creative Cloud for all their software. So if you subscribe, um, or in the old days, you had to wait once a year or every six months for an update, a major update. They Major updates get pushed right away. Minor updates get pushed right away. So uh, it's good. Yeah, cool. So you get more tools. Um, ba -da -ba -doo. John says, I started with a brand and switched to keyword optimization. Brands don't work. OK. See, we're at odds. Oh, look, Joe's joined us. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good. Where you at? I'm just at my house. I'm actually uh, here uh, waiting on uh, some people to come work on my air conditioner. So I'm just waiting around. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> my dad's air conditioner went out too. I'm not lying. He's got to go back wow. home today because the AC guy's coming today. Yeah, so I had to stay home from work today just to make sure this gets done. So. I'm That's waiting for the phone call to find out where my guy's going to go. That's <laughs> yeah. so crazy. If Chris comes on and says his air conditioner went out too. Yeah. Somebody's got the merch video on us. <laughs> yeah, so it's crazy. How have sales been? How have things been? Oh, man, sales have been good. Actually, you know, I've been gone for, uh, I was at the Green Room window for like four four days. And then actually I was on a uh, travel for, for my for my job, actually. And I just got back um, Friday. But uh, I would, and actually I teared up when I was gone to 1,000. And, um, and that, was, so that was pretty exciting. But, uh, you know, when you're traveling, it's so hard to upload and stuff. So, you know, I'm just yeah. not realizing that, so. Uh, probably since I've uh, been back, I I've have uploaded probably like only like 25 shirts. But man, I've been selling it crazy. I probably sold like 60 or 70 shirts. So that's awesome. You've been yeah, having so, some good days. Yeah, really good days. So I'm excited about that. So I'm excited. I've been, but since I've been back, I've been uh, upload, uploading like crazy. So it's been good. I saw your pictures in New Orleans. Did you get lots of ideas in New Orleans? Uh. Some, but not really, not not a um, lot. No. I was just trying to stay cool walking around. Oh my gosh, hot, right? <laughs> it's so hot there. Yeah. Yeah, cool. What were we talking about? We're just shooting the breeze, really. We ended on... Do what? We ended on Illustrator CC. Oh, okay. I was trying to catch up in the chat real fast. Anything, uh, the, the, the newest thing that I've done was um, um, I was just, uh, I decided, you know, everybody likes all these uh, little uh, top 10 shirts from like tea grass or uh, sun, sun frog that I've been putting up. So I decided to make my own from my own collection. And so I made that little, uh, my top 15 selling ni uh, niches and I just put it out there, you know, just to, just to see what people, people, people like it or whatever. So um that's something I've done recently, and I did that this weekend. So, and that was on that that that's the Gumtree link that you put out, yeah. 
Yeah, that Gum, gum Road one. Gum yeah. Road, Gum Road. Yeah, if you yeah. send it, I can put it in the description here, and people can click on it later. Yeah, well, that was the first time I used Gum Road, so I was just, I was just uh, trying it out and see what it does and stuff. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, I've, I've been getting a lot. Um, that's helped me back in whoever whoever bought it. I'm gonna try to like send out different things and um, you know updates and just like make it like kind of exclusive for those people who bought my stuff. So that's cool. That's such a good idea. You know. Yeah. And I actually, I, I last night I actually sent out for the ones who bought it because I had probably over like, uh, or the ones who who got the free download, who um, it's probably like over like five hundred people who got it. So like, I actually made something where where they could buy it. Like you can see my designs actually like seven of uh, my designs of like uh, a certain um, niche for part of, a part of that list. Um, like I made like all right here you go here's, here's like seven shirts you can look at you can look at my keywords you can look at my shirt. You can look at everything pretty much on Amazon, and so um, you know you can check it out for like ten bucks. Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea. I haven't yeah. messed with it yet, so yeah. I'm gonna go look how you did it, and I'm gonna copy you. Do it. <laughs> do it. You can do it. I mean, just because like I remember when I started, nobody showed me anything or would even show me nothing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so I mean, I I'm known for showing people all my stuff, so. <laughs> but so I, I decided I decided to get to get together and make it kind of like something that was you know that people can really see and really look at and some yeah. some kind of some kind of format you know to make it pretty good you know so that's really cool because you're right there's I mean I, I'm pretty open with sharing all of my stuff too well for the most part but yeah because you so. know whatever if they're gonna copy they're gonna copy. Yeah, yeah. So I try to keep it maybe more exclusive for people. So who really, who are really interested and who really want to learn. So. Yeah. Awesome. That's super awesome. Again, I'll, I'll. If you're watching later, I'll put the link. I'll put the link to James. Oh, my brain is on beach day. Uh, I'll put the link to Joe's uh, Gum Road. Yeah, I can see you at the beach. That's awesome. I am. I'm trying to keep out of the sun because I'm already getting red. <laughs> The plug, there was a table over there, but the plug wasn't working, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so Diana in the chat was saying, Margaret, I heard you could use your own website as proof you were first if you have your shirt showing on the date you uploaded to your site. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't have them on my own site. Jeff, do you have that? Do you know? I, well, the shirts, I have mm -hmm. most of them on my own site, yeah. Yeah. But um, I do them on different dates. But Amazon knows when you uploaded it. Yeah. And you can look in your um, analyze page. If I can find it uh, under manage. Is it? There's a place where it shows the date. Yeah. Um, under your manage on your dashboard, it shows you the date you created it. So. Yeah, that's true. Mitch is saying he has one brand that I reference in the first sentence of every description, but I make the brand name different for each shirt. That's a good idea. Like you would put. Mitch on merch, you know, check out other shirts by Mitch on merch or something yeah, like that. But how would they find them if your brand is different? There's no clickable link. But if you did a search for that in the. It might, it might show some, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Joy says she hasn't been accepted yet, but starting to jot down ideas. Many are already on Amazon. I didn't steal them by any means. I was just beat to the punch. What are your thoughts on this? You could always make a variation of it. Yeah, yeah. Make, it make it better. Yeah, make another version. Make it your own. Yeah, for sure. Uh-oh. Okay, I lost the chat again. Uh. Oh, so somebody was asking how many shirts I have live. I have about 455 shirts live. 55, yep. And I have 20 uploads a day now, so I'm busy. That Hopefully that'll jump up by the end of this week to, you know, over, you know, maybe almost 600 shirts, so. Are you trying to do your 20 a day? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to do my 20 a day. Yeah. So I'm, I'll try it out just because, just you know, I'm there. I want to see, you know, how much I can do, and so see what I can do. Richard says everything comes from somewhere else. I've had original ideas too until I see that they weren't, they weren't <laughs> also. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing new under the sun. You just got to make variations, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I search around, see it. I mean, there may only be one or two like it, 
or maybe 40 or 50. Yeah, I mean the last video that we did where we were creating a, when I was creating a shirt live and it was like, that's something to do with beach, the beach life or something like that. There, there were a, a, quite a few that had the same like kind of saying on it, but we just changed it and made it look different. So different graphics, different. Beach life is trademark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we changed it. <laughs> we did the beat. We we looked up the trademark. We did. <laughs> we did. Um, beach life. Jade asks. Uh, maybe this is already answered. Once you're accepted. Okay, what she said is <laughs> once you but load I'm, a shirt up, do you do it organically or do you advertise to get sales, right? Am or, I choppy? Yeah, you're, you're choppy. Fine now. Oh. But I, I social mediaize every shirt when they go up. And occasionally I'll do a random social search. I haven't done any paid advertisement. Beyond that, it's all organic. Yeah, my, mine, mine's all all organic. I don't do anything else. I did right. I did a few campaigns on Pinterest a while, like during the fourth quarter, but I didn't. Th I don't think that it really did very much for me. Yeah, I, I pin it, Facebook it, and tweet it. But it's free, and it gets links out there coming back to the shirt. So and search engines like that, but beyond that, I, I won't pay. I'd either pay, I do pay for advertisements to my website. It doesn't do a lot, but I do that. Actually, there, there is one thing that I'm going to try, and it's that fame bit. I know we talked about yeah. it in the past where you, where you send it to like a YouTube creator, you know, like somebody, whoever, and they kind of advertise it to their audience. And um, I'm actually going to try that and see if, see how that works out. So. I was actually let on, you guys know. Yeah, I, I was on Famebit the other day looking at campaigns, and I saw a couple. Sorry, my hair's being weird. I saw a couple shirts up there that people were trying to get um, creators to oh, do wow. bids on. Yeah, not a ton, but I saw a couple up there. So. Okay. Oh Does yeah, because you're because you're on the creator side. Yeah, I, ha I have an account on both sides. I haven't put any campaigns up yet, but yeah, I've gotten campaigns from Famebit. So. Yeah. See. So. I'm gonna try it out. You might you might see mine the other, in a couple of days. <laughs> I'm gonna like make a, a cow like <laughs> write a, a what do you call it a bid for it? <laughs> denied. <laughs> denied. Denied. Unless yeah. I can get the cast of Game of Thrones, I'm not gonna bother. What? <laughs> Jon Snow wearing my shirt or Oh, okay. What's the yeah. little shirt guy's name? Tyrion. Yeah, the I drink and no things. Yes, I have a, yeah. I eat kale and no things shirt. So if I get him to wear that, I'll be happy. You know what? I, I don't watch the Game of Thrones. I mean, um, I just never have. So like, I see all these shirts, and I I know I recognize just kind of like the symbolism from Game of Thrones, but I'm like, I have no idea what that means or what that. <laughs> means. <laughs> okay, let's see. Girl has no name. Yeah, yeah. Tonight's new one. Yay. So I get to send you spoilers tonight. You you're gonna get to what? Send you spoilers tonight. I watched it last night. Oh crap! So I can send you some spoilers right now if you want. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> um, Andrew says, "Is Jeff wearing a Spider-Man outfit?" Always. Yeah, he wears a lot of. Them. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm looking. Wi-Fi on the beach would be a dream, Jay says. I'm starting to get toasty in the sun, though. So, um, Let's see. Is there a general? This is from Chris Tenke on the Bay. Is there a general? Hang on. Hair. <laughs> is there a general ratio to how many designs equals how many shirts, or does it all depend? Some people have aim for 1% of their eBay items selling daily. It depends. Yeah. Two different monkeys are. Well, and then, like, I think what he's asking, because, like, I have way more shirts up than say Yong, but Yong sells way more shirts than I do. So what does eBay have to do with it? Well, like I think he's making a comparison to how people are trying to have a sell-through rate. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely more shirts. Well, like you said, Yong's a an anomaly. 
And then, uh, well, Joe, I mean, for, for I think Joe at, at the tier he's at, like the ratio of his sell, sales, I mean, if we sat down and did the numbers and did ratios on it, if we wanted well, to be he just teared up. And but he's even before. Under, okay, well, yeah, okay. But yeah, to, I mean, to me, the more shirts you have, the more shirts you're going to sell. Yeah. I mean, that is, the, I would say, the overriding principle. There are going to be some anomalies. That's true. Like, like I think it's, um, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that people are at the tenth tier right now, and I have twenty uploads a day. Or people are at the hundred tier, and I have twenty uploads a day in like five days. I can knock that out or whatever. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 I mean, last year I was at. I teared up very fast, and I was at the 500 tier. I got I got to the 500 tier, and I only had 20 shirts up. But those 20 shirts were selling a hell of a lot. You know, so it got me up there quickly. But and then I decided to start working it. Chris says, "I'm 100 percent positive. If I made a shirt, I would sell 100 to my audience. Do one of you guys want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. I just told them I would do it. I'll do it. We'll Let's both do it. it. Yeah." Let's do it for sure. Oh my gosh. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello from the bed. <laughs> I got to take a shower and put his makeup on. And yeah, this is raw thrift shop hustler right here. How are you guys doing? <laughs> you made sure you got your hair did though. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wow. So what's up? Nothing. How are things? How are yourselves? Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Numbers are good. Um, sold probably about five shirts this week, which isn't bad for me, but um, just uh, still still capped out at 100. I was hoping to get um, upgraded when everyone else got upgraded, and that didn't happen. So we're still pushing. How many shirts do you have up? 100. Oh. 100 and add 100. Add 100. <clears throat> How many sales do you have total? Total? Oh, man, you're asking me those numbers already so early in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea. Like, I'm that bad. Well, I'm the, the, the rule, which has been broke, but the rule is you have to sell 100 before you can be considered. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm past that or close to that. I have to look. Well, then it should happen pretty soon then. Yeah, I think so. But you haven't heard they they're gonna put a Q three freeze on tears. <laughs> <laughs> they're right. gonna they're gonna downgrade you if you don't if they don't like you. Right after that's, you. Yeah, that's one thing, man. I'm freaking gonna put up all my shirts. I don't want no freeze happening, so see that's I think that's my goal right now is I wanna get to a thousand tier before Q four. Q four starts what? Starts in November October. October November. Yeah, October is Q four. So I want to be a thousand before Q4, and I have to do. I have to load 105 more shirts. Oh, you're serious? They are gonna freeze stuff. No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. Jeez. I'm just okay, saying, I, it's a goal. I want to have a thousand slots for Q4. What's Not that? that I'll be able to I would like to just say I did it before then. And I, I, and according to the rumors and rules, I have to have another 105 shirts listed before that can happen. I never, I didn't think about that though, as far as getting my shirts up. Because what if they do, and what if they do do another freeze? Yeah. Right. They might. They would do it for Q four, not Q three. Yeah, yeah, but because that's what happened last year. But I did go through and bump up all my prices because I had some that were lower, and I did bump everything to like seventeen ninety nine or up. You know. Yeah. Margaret, are you in Florida or are you in Texas somewhere? I am in Texas, y'all. Here, I'll turn around so you can see where I'm at. Yeah. Let's see that. Can you see? I'm at the beach. Oh, cool. You got like a nice little path all the way to the beach and everything. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Backyard to a lake. It, it, that is the <laughs> beach, y'all. Beach does not have grass and weeds. That's not weeds. That's where the rattlesnakes live. I think that's where like the <laughs> East Coast beaches are like that. This is the Gulf Coast, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're not used to that kind of stuff, Jeff, because all the all that stuff doesn't grow too well. That's the keep. That's when the hurricanes come. It keeps from all, all the sand and stuff from washing away. That makes sense. We have real beaches. <laughs> <laughs> not the sand and sharks. 
We got sharks too. We had a great white shot sighting last week again. Oh, really? In, in San Diego? Yeah, off the Silver Strand. Yeah, we saw sand sharks when we were in Malibu last week. It was cool. <laughs> Dang. Sand sharks are pretty much big trout of the sea. They're like kind of like bottom feeders of sort. I got a question. Who won last night? The who race. Phelps or the shark? Oh, I don't know. Heidi, who won? That shark I didn't watch Phelps win. Oh, he lost by two seconds, my wife was saying. They were watching it last night. Yeah. We should remove the cake. Oh. <laughs> Put a harness on the shark and have him ride it. All right, Margaret, are you frozen? I don't think she, I think she might be. No, you're good. Am I good? Okay. I, I was impressed with the Wi-Fi here, so yeah. Come on, take control. Yeah, you're looking you're looking good for being on the beach, or close to it, I should say. <laughs> I was out. I went out this morning. On the beach. Mon. Yeah, Mon. No, I mean everything's good on my end. I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to tear up to. I guess it's 500 is next if you're at 100. So that's yeah. just where I'm at right now, and just, just having designs like, you know, ready to go, and just, I noticed that when I capped out at 100, I got a lot more sales. I don't, I don't know if that's tin foil or anything, but, you know, things started to pick up a lot once I capped out. Yeah, were you at? Because, because Jeff was saying he, he thinks, or there's a rumor that you have to be at 80 percent capacity on your you know uploads before they move you up you know that's what i asked him he said he's maxed out yeah and i've been that i've been like that for maybe three or four weeks so we'll see yeah yeah and you know what that's what kind of happened to me like i got like to 80 percent, and then it seems like it happened so i don't know maybe that's true so you yeah. just never know if i was amazon that's what i would do well, see, for, for me, I was lucky to get 25 when I first started. Everyone's getting 10 now, which is really hard to – it's not hard, but, I mean, it's it's more difficult for the new newer players to, to get bumped up. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dongle, dongle, dongle. Oh, my gosh. I've been watching The Office, so that's stuck in my mind. All right. I think, I think I need, like – 200 more sales to be at a thousand sales. So, well, I'll, I'll be at a thousand sales. I, I have 954 sales right now. So, I got the sales number down. Capacity, I'm and you're at, you're at the thousand tier, right? No, I'm still at 500. Oh, yeah, you're at the 500 tier. That's I only have I have 295 live right now. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So, I am making a push right now. You know, if I pushed it, I can be over 400 in 11 days. But push, push, push. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push that hard. I think it's probably gonna take me 20 days to get there. Take one for the team, Jeff. Yeah, I gotta take keep my other businesses going too. Oh, that's right. That's true. I gotta clean my studio out this week. I gotta turn the keys over next week. So. Yeah, your cats are making a mess of that place, man. Look at them. Yeah, they like packing paper. <laughs> uh, closing one business down this week and ramping up the others. That's the problem. As soon as uh, the summer slowdown stops, my other businesses pick up, and I have less time to deal with making shirt designs. So try to get as many shirt designs as I can in the next week or two. This August usually picks up for me. I mean, my website made more sales than my eBay did this weekend. So there's that too. All right, Mike. <clears throat> Mike Trigerno wants to know how many of us are using social media to promote. I do, but not to a big degree. Like I said, I I pin, tweet, and book. Every Amazon design, every design, 
and I'll Instagram designs on my website. Well, on your Facebook, are you doing? You're not doing it on your personal Facebook. Do you have a, a cos frog that you can do a, it on? I have a Cosmic Frog Tease um, Facebook page, which is basically my merch tease. And then on my Cosmic Frogs vinyl, I do my vinyl and my website tease on. So, yeah, but I have one Twitter for everything. Yeah, I used to uh, promote myself a lot when I first started, and maybe I should do that. I was really going hard. I th Margaret, you've seen some of my stuff on Instagram where I totally make like individual Photoshop uh, images of my shirts and just really try to promote them and everything. I haven't been doing that for the last couple months, but I don't know. I, it's hard to tell if that's worth it or not or, you know, if it's detrimental to the cause. I don't do it so much for promoting as to getting some incoming links to the product page because Google likes that, and I don't, I don't know how Amazon search considers outside links. But just get a, in, an outside link into the product, each product, I think it doesn't hurt. And I don't go beyond that. I don't, except for my own website stuff, I might run a campaign or something. But uh, just getting those links out there. And yeah, I, I, pin, I pin mine. I don't do as much on Instagram. I do some now and then. But that's a good idea. Maybe I will, I'll set up a separate Texas Gal shirt Facebook thing, yeah. you know? Because then, like like Joe was saying, like people would really like to see like what's working and you know see a, an actual type of link how we're yeah. doing. Yeah, I noticed that like when I first started my YouTube stuff about merch, pe more people were into like my designs and like what I was thinking and what selling and everything. Because I think a lot of new people they they might not know like you know what exactly you know merch is all about and what designs they should be creating and stuff like that so it was good for people because everyone's like kind of secretive about their designs and i understand that Trust me, i'm in that boat for sure mm -hmm. um but yeah people people love to see what's going on for sure yeah yeah uh, i don't treat my page as like a merch education or anything like that. it's right. it's sales like I, I i will go out there and have a contest to get some more likes on the page every once in a while it's a place where people can stumble upon and find t-shirts. It's another, rather than having to stumble on it on one place on Amazon, they can stumble on these different, you know, and it gets shared. I do see them getting shared on Pinterest. So the link is going out there. And the more inbound links you have, the better you are for search. Sorry. At least for Google. I don't know how Amazon treats inbound links. They're a different animal. Sorry, y'all. Tell Elena buzz off. Tell Elena what? Buzz off. I'm not telling her to buzz off. Oh, is that the bee, is that the bee lady? Yeah. Bee lady. Hi, bee lady. I don't think so. <laughs> She's waiting for me. Uh, oh, yeah. So real fast in the chat, Mike says you would be surprised how much free traffic you can get when you add up all the channels. Right. Definitely. Use Bit Bitly to track links. Tell yeah, absolutely. I even start um, tumbling some of my stuff. Not that much, but every once in a while. Jay says, thanks for everything and join the live watch. First live watch ever attended. Thanks so much for coming, Jade. And then Chris, 10K on the Bay, wants to come on next week and, and pepper us with questions. Are you all down? Yeah, that's fine. Now, next, are we going to try to switch it back to noon next week, or are we going to go to 1 next week? What do you guys think? Noon. Noon. Okay, back to noon. All right. All right, nooner. I'm not going to go have a nooner with you guys. It's gross. But <laughs> we can come back at noon. Next week, what? Such a dirty mind. Everything you say today, I don't know if you've noticed, like, it seems like everything y'all have been saying, just like, maybe because I'm at the beach, my mind is in the gutter. <laughs> so I'm having a really fun time laughing. And, and you're with your sister, too, which she's uh, a troublemaker. So that Yeah, yeah. Matter. So we're about, I have to hang up in just a second here because we're going to go cause trouble on the island. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'll send I'll send you those uh, links, Margaret. You can post. Yeah, absolutely. I'll drop them in the description. So if you guys sure. want to check um, Joe's Gumroad top free, like my top free fifteen things I gave away. Hey, I, I can't believe I gave that away. And then I actually added like one more thing on top of that, so where you can actually see my design. So that's awesome. You gotta pay for that's that awesome. though. I can I can't give everything away. <laughs> 
No, nobody will buy the cow if you give the milk away for free, Joe. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but you can make hamburgers and steaks with the cow. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, go over there and hit the uh, thumbs up button while I block somebody. Give me one second. Yeah, I saw that. I was trying <laughs> to get to that too. Uh, yeah, go go over there and hit the thumbs up button, guys, and uh, and we'll talk to you guys next week. Oh, do you guys want to tell them where, where they can find you and everything like that before we hang up? Uh, Merchant University Facebook group, YouTube channel. Jeff? Um, it's just CauseFrog1 YouTube channel. I'm putting the link in the chat. Thrift Shop Hustler, you can see me in the chat. Hello, sorry I was late. It's okay. You got to get your beauty sleep. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and I'm Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, Texas Gal Treasures. And I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye, everybody. Later, Thanks.